distinguished guests, my colleagues, my friends. This is not the official opening. We will start the official opening at 2.30, uh, awaiting Her Excellency uh, Mahal Ali, uh, Minister of Trade and Industry, representing the Prime Minister, who is the patron of our, of our meeting today. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and uh, uh, we thought, we thought first, first I would like to express my great welcome for all of you, especially, especially the very busy ambassadors who honored us with their presence, and uh, the distinguished uh, members of Parliament, the Senate, uh, and the distinguished leaders in this country. I am, I'm so proud and uh, happy to have this. Uh, full house uh, this morning or this afternoon. Uh, what we are proposing now is a general discussion which will be started by, triggered by uh, uh, opening remarks, which will not be the official remarks. It is just we are taking advantage of the half an hour because Her, Her Excellency is held up with the, uh, of course all of you know that there is a meeting which I missed because I had to be here. Uh, on the 10 years plan of, uh, of Jordan, uh, and uh, the, 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 she is now at the press conference after the presentation of the plan. So in, 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 in order to take advantage of the time, we had scheduled that there is a discussion at the end of the day. We will start with the discussion, and we would consider this time, this period of time, until her arrival to start the, the meeting officially. We consider this time as open discussion from the floor in response to the opening remarks of our distinguished uh, 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 keynote speaker. I am very honored and very pleased uh, to host today a very important UN executive, Mr. John Kloss. John Kloss has many things in common with my great friend, the Lord Mayor here, because he's a mayor of, former mayor of Barcelona former Minister of Tourism, and, uh, and, and in, in many other ways uh, they are uh, very, very equivalent. Grey hair. Uh, and grey yes. hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, by, by education, His Excellency is a Doctor of Medicine. And I'm married to Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm married to one. <laughs> yeah, okay, then that, that makes it more, co more comfortable because she's the more important one. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, His Excellency is the Executive Director of UN Habitat, this very important organization. Unfortunately, we, we, we planned everything around this time because he flew in this morning and he flies back this evening. He flew in this morning and he leaves us after dinner this evening and uh, we, we, are, uh, we are very sorry that he, his schedule could not permit more time for discussion. But without wasting it, the time of useful and important uh, remarks, I would like to ask His Excellency to to make opening remarks, and I would invite you for your response and input in the meanwhile. Thank you very much. Yours. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dalal. Uh, all the protocols observed, because that we will do that formally in the opening. And uh, just uh, in order to initiate the, deba the, the debate, I would like to express uh, our point of view in, in relation to urbanization. Uh, and the challenges that urbanization is uh, presenting worldwide and probably also in Jordan in the forthcoming uh, years. In fact, in, in Jordan you have already a very high level of urbanization. I think that you are already over 82% of people living in cities, uh, which uh, if we look at the structure of the country, physical structure, uh, this is quite uh, obvious or logical that you have such a big uh, uh, le uh, level of uh, urbanization. But, uh, but uh, our point is not just about the, the size of urbanization, but also the, the social and, and economic function of uh, urbanization. As we are moving for, for a, a, a kind of human society that originally was based uh, in the primary sector, let's say agriculture or, or, or natural resources, and then it moves to 
manufacturing and industrialization in the line of development. And then after uh, manufacturing, manufacture and industrialization, we advance to advanced services. Uh, uh, we, we, we need to analyze what is the function of urbanization in this process of evolution of the human society. And it's clear that uh, uh, as we are leaving behind the time of the predominance of manufacturing and industrialization, and we are entering in the service uh, economy, uh, the function of uh, urbanization uh, is increasing uh, its uh, relevance. Because most of the services, advanced services especially, uh, value-added services, uh, they grow in the cities. And they don't grow uh, in uh, very low density places. They grow uh, in, in places where there's a lot of information and there's a lot of uh, complexity, uh, positive complexity, which are, are able to create this kind of uh, output. In that sense, uh, the, these advanced economic goods of the, of the advanced uh, urbanization is what the uh, evolutionist call an emerg emerging property. You put the people together and, and it happens that uh, the people together it's more than the sum of the parts. Eh? There's emergence, uh, emergency qualities or, or characteristics that uh, comes out precisely in due to the compactness. Uh, in that sense, uh, we are uh, addressing urbanization not as a problem or as a, as a condemnation or as a, you know, a headache, but as a solution, as, a, as an instrument for development in, in as the economy and the society advances in its development.